Yeah. Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Kristen Stephenson Pino and Achara Kirk. Hi, bro. Every time I say Achara Kirk, I'm looking at you now, and it's like this thing. And, and every time I do it, I'm like, why am I looking at her whenever I say her name? She's adorable. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's because Jabby likes Achara. <laughs> The very end of the reaction portion of this video has been slightly modified to avoid copyright claims. Become a patron for a dollar or 67 rupees a month to see the unmodified cut of this reaction as well as other Patreon exclusive content. So we're watching Flames, Season 1, Episode 5, Mary Sony, Mary Tamana. I said that <laughs> like an authentic... Hindi speaking India. This is the season finale. Thank you to Timeliners for allowing us to react to this. Very much appreciated. I've been enjoying this show so far and taking it apart and reminiscing about our lovely, lovely high school days. And thank you to Rashi Mudalkar for making the subtitles for this episode as well. You rock! Yes, you're awesome. Yes. We would not be able to watch this without you. Don't sneeze. We'll do it that way. If you're gonna sneeze, don't <laughs> sneeze this way. <laughs> Poilslo kehta hai ki pressure is inversely proportional to volume. Matlab jitni zyada volume hogi pressure utna kam hoga. Par bachcho life mein na ye mamla proportional chalta hai. Problems ki volume jitni zyada hogi pressure usse zyada hi hoga. Sure. Oh, here we go. Rajat beta, main tuition center band kar raha hu aur tum yahan novel gets ki tarah akele baithe ho. Aur pande ji nahi dikh rahe. बताओ कुछ नहीं सर अरे समझ नहीं आ रहा है और बच्चों ये ना इस टर्म का आखिरी चैप्टर है कान और दिल बोल के सुनना तो अपनी नोटबुक निकालो आज की डेट डालो और लिखो चैप्टर फाइव ओ मेरी सोनी मेरी तमन्ना आई लव दैट ही सिंग्स द टाइटल ऑफ एवरी एपिसोड आई वंडर इफ दे आर लाइक सॉन्ग टाइटल्स और समथिंग दे माइट दे प्रोबेबली आर The teacher feels like an ass right now, <laughs> thinking it's him. Yeah. Uh oh. Sir, I can't do it, sir. Sir, I'm not going to study. I can't do it. Hmm. Sir, I'm not going to study. 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 अभी हो गया ना एक प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व बताओ दूसरी झगड़ा हुआ पांडे जी के साथ या अनुषा या इशिका इशिता सर इशिता के साथ ऐसे कौन है इशिता फ्रेंड मेरे भी फ्रेंड रही है जो मेरी बेटर हाफ है लव मैरिज लास्ट ईयर रब इट इन ड्यूड तो इसलिए बेटा तुम मुझे अपना फ्रेंड समझो हाँ और मुझे बताओ तुम्हारी उस फ्रेंड से क्या प्रॉब्लम हुई है बोलो हाँ सर वो क्लास में सर की क्लास में 
अरे हम फ्रेंड है ऐसे मतलब बोलो सुन रहे हैं रेडियो सीरी 91.1 एफएम और मैं आपका जो हाजिर है एक बार फिर आपके ओह नो देर फ्रेंड्स नो देर नॉट बताओ भाई नो देर नॉट पार्टी दे रहे हैं शायद आने के लिए हाँ भाई आजा इसने सेट स्ट्रेस आपको पास हो गया हरी बिया दो ब्लेड चिकन लगाना जरा जी भी अब डाइ जरा सुन मैं नलके विशांक विशांक वो जो किस वाली बात थी ना मेरे रज्जो की वो झूठ थी हैं हाँ जो मुझे तो पहले से ही पता था अबे उस चूपे के बस की है ही नहीं भाई वो मेरी गलती थी सॉरी पर पूरे ट्यूशन सेंटर में वो बात फैलाई किसने तूने तो ज़्यादा बड़ी गलती किसकी हुई तेरी अब तू एक-एक बंदे को जाके ट्यूशन में बोलेगा कि ये झूठ काले मेरे माथे पे का चूतिया लिखा हुआ है हैं मतलब मैं सनशाइन में अपनी इमेज खराब कर लूँ मतलब तू सॉरी नहीं बोलेगा यार जो उखाड़ने उखाड़ लियो अरे यार भैया चिकन मोमोस की प्लेट बोली थी यार कहाँ है सर फिर पानो से भी लड़ाई हो गई और इशिता भी बात नहीं कर रही है बस अनुशा ही है जो that's all you heard. Whoopsie. हाँ सर. उधर. चलो निकलो. चलो निकलो मम्मी को लेके आपने साथ चलो. चलो निकलो. नहीं अगली बार से नहीं लोगों सर पक्का पक्का सर प्रॉमिस. What a fucker. Not the time. That's them. बोला ना वो फ्रेंड है. हाँ. लेकिन ज़्यादा बुझ गए हो थोड़ा खिलो. हाँ. ट्राई करो मैं सर. ट्राई वराई नहीं. करो. ऐसे प्रेशर में रहने से ना मन का नहीं वेट का वो जलका होता है हाँ तो बताओ तुम तो गए थे ना गिफ्ट लेकर के चिता से बात करने क्या प्रॉब्लम है मुझे गिफ्ट पसंद नहीं है सर वो तो उठ के ही चले गए सर Are you telling the whole story though Yes Yes he is सर प्रॉब्लम ये हुई कि उसको लग रहा है मैं झूठ बोल रहा हूँ सर उसको मेरी बात पे ट्रस्ट ही नहीं हो रहा है पर सर ऐसा नहीं है मैं सच बोल रहा हूँ सर मम्मी कसम मैं सच बोल रहा हूँ सर मैंने कुछ नहीं किया हाँ बेटा ये कसम वगैरह ठीक है तुम मुझे एक बात बताओ सपोज करो तुम अपने घर जाते हो और तुम्हें पता चलता है कि तुम्हारी मम्मी को सब पता है तुम्हारे मोमो से लेके बंक से लेके क्लास में टेस्ट में पांच न सर प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगी सर सर फंस जाऊँगा सर भयंकर प्रॉब्लम तुम क्या सोचोगे ये चुगली मम्मी को किसने की होगी आपने सर और तुम फिर मेरे बारे में क्या सपोज करोगे यही कि सर आप बहुत चंड और हरामी निकले बेटा इतना भी मत खुलो सॉरी सर पर अब जब तुम मुझे बता रहे थे जो तुम्हारी आत्मकथा है तो तब लग रहा था कि मैं चंट और चंट हूँ नहीं सर और अगर कल मैं वापस आऊँ और बोलूँ कि मैंने किसी को कुछ नहीं बताया मेरी इसमें कोई गलती नहीं तो तुम मेरी बात मानोगे नहीं सर क्यों नहीं मानोगे क्योंकि सर फिर तो भरोसा उठ जाए ओ Exactly, beta. Oh. So what are you supposed to do? Yeah. What do you do then? How do you get the trust back? What do you do? Well, at least he understands that, like you know where she's where she's coming from. Yeah. Beta, जब हमारे साथ कुछ बुरा होता है ना, तो it's like less often. हमारे दिमाग में सिर्फ blame game चलता है. क्यों हुआ? कैसे हुआ? किसने किया? इसमें इशिता की गलती नहीं है कि तुम्हारी सुन नहीं रही है, और ना ही तुम्हारी कि तुम पांडे जी की नहीं सुन रहे बच्चे बस परेशान सर अब मुझे क्या करना चाहिए इस सबसे पहले तो ये ब्लेम करना बनता है और दूसरी चीज अच्छे मन से दिल खोल के समझा देते थे और तुम आजकल के बच्चे नोट्स तो बना के राजी होनी चिट्ठी का खात लिखोगे मेरा कहने का मतलब ये है कि तुम मतलब समझा दो और हाँ 
उसे समझने का टाइम दो ये एक्सपेक्ट मत करो कि छुमंतर और ट्रस्ट वापस आ जाए ऐसा नहीं होता है और वैसे मुझे हमेशा लगता था तुम्हारा और पांडे जी का जो बॉन्ड है ना वो कार्बन कार्बन का है हीरे की तरह एकदम स्ट्रॉन्ग तुम तो थोड़ी सी हिंच क्या बड़ी टूट गए अंदर से क्या हाइड्रोजन का बॉन्ड है क्या है नहीं सर ऐसा कुछ नहीं फिर सुनो पांडे जी की उसने जो किया गलत किया और तुम्हारा अच्छा सोच के किया चलो बहुत लेट हो गया मेरा भी घर पे एक बॉन्ड जो इंतजार कर रहा है मेरी दीदी भाई मरवाओगे क्या यार है? चलो अरे मेरे पास रहने दो ठीक है अगली बार बीस में से बीस आने चाहिए पक्का सर टू हंड्रेड परसेंट चलो थैंक यू सर थैंक यू नहीं भाई मोमोज खिलाने पड़ेंगे हाँ तो कैसे दोगे तुम अरे ठीक है हम खिलाएंगे <laughs> चलो Got a Wonder Woman backpack. Uh, sir, uh, Rajju. बड़ो बड़ो, कुछ होने वाला है. क्या सर? हाँ हाँ हाँ. लोडू है यार एक नंबर का. This is a thing. अबे वो mental तो पागल है कि हम कब से phone कर रहे हैं कितने परेशान थे हम. तुम दोनों मेरे कार्बन हो यार हाय फिर से डिस्टर्ब करने के लिए सॉरी मुझे ना आज एक बात समझ में आई ये ट्रस्ट भी ना बड़ी फुद्दू चीज होती है पता ही नहीं लगता कब हो जाता है कब टूट जाता है पर करना ही पड़ता है मुझे पता है तुम हर्ट हो सब गॉसिप कर रहे हैं डर भी है कि पापा तक ना पहुंच जाए मैं समझता हूं यार मैं ये भी समझता हूं कि तुम्हारा मुझे ब्लेम करना बिल्कुल सही था पर सुनो ना मेरे कंट्रोल में अगर होता ना बाय गॉड मैं सच्ची बता रहा हूं मैं तुम्हारा ड्रेस कभी नहीं तोड़ता और वो भंग का दिन ना मेरा बेस्ट दिन था hmm. इतना अच्छा मुझे कभी फील ही नहीं हुआ थैंक यू बस यही बोलना था और हाँ वो मुझे पता है वो प्रिजनर वो एस्का बैन होता है अफगानिस्तान में जोक मार गया था वो थोड़ा आसानी के लिए नहीं तो बोल रहे जाते ना तो ठीक है हाँ ठीक है हो गया चलो ठीक है बाय 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 Well done. She's gonna call him now. Nah, she's gonna see him. Wow. What now? Don't end now. Okay. Now we got some time left. Oh, hello. Hi. Just get lost, can I? Don't think, man. Just delete it. Yeah, it's done. Boy, now the cautious are also done. Yeah, boy, don't worry. Ah, yeah, the mirror mad. Don't do it, don't do it. Let's sit here. Let's kill the dogs. What's up? Oh, she's coming. She's coming. Guys, leave. What's going on? Are you waiting for me? Bye, bye, bye. Look, I told you about Rojo and Rajat and Rishita. There's nothing like that. They're all gone. I'm really very sorry. You guys, please don't say anything to anyone. How do you convince them? Gave him diarrhea. Hello, Rajat. What? Hello, Rajat. Hello, Rajat. That's right. Achara oh. knows. <laughs> <laughs>
Do that means your mind is evil. <laughs> You're sneaky. Why did you do this at the same time? Your kismet is very good. Take it. You're also coming. Oh, wait. Oh. That was a flashback. Yeah, so when they, he, so when they had the he denied him to fix things. Damn. Those gold oh, chains. He has something on him. मार्केट में हूँ यहाँ फड्डा हो गया इसकी मार नहीं है भाई बात कराई लॉन्डे से जरा बेटा मैं बोल रहा हूँ कौन तेरा बाप जानो भैया अरे अरे कितने नए मार याद किया कैसे हो भैया बेटा चाट मत और एक बात बताइयो उस दिन उजाला टिक्की है वहाँ मैंने तेरे कितनी चप्पल मारी थी कितनी अरे क्या भैया � जो ते को कह रहा हूँ ना वो बता कितनी चप्पल मारी थी भैया यही कोई दस ग्यारह वो ना बेटा मैं कई बार भूल जाता हूँ गिनना क्योंकि मैं जब मारता हूँ ना तो गिनता नहीं हूँ ले अपने टट्टे से बात कर एक बार हेलो भैया भैया नलके आज के बाद ना फोन कर दिया इस नंबर पे तेरे घर आके पिलूंगा वरना और ये अपना छोटा है छोटा ये जो कह रहा है ना वो कर ठीक है भैया सॉरी भैया मैं मैं बोल दूँगा सबको कल लड़कियों के बारे में अफवाह फैला रहा है लड़कियों की रिस्पेक्ट करता है जानू भैया ठीक है आज के बाद शिकायत नहीं आनी चाहिए तेरी ना मार मार बक्कल तार दूँगा सुसरेगा सी भैया वो भी देके जाइयो। टैंग। चलो भाई छोटे मैं निकलता हूँ ठीक है? और कम खाया कर पेट निकला है तेरा। बैठ जा भाई तू क्यों तंग हो रहा है? बैठ। सॉरी क्यूट है। साले फुकरे। तेरा भाई कार्बन है कार्बन। सब सेट कर दिया मैंने। ओ क्रेडिट चोर। इसको अकल मैन दी थी गलती इसकी है। ये तो अपनी अकड़ में था। Here she comes. Get her. Some sushi. Ishita. Didi, wo, maine tumhare aur Pandu ne mujhe bataya tha tumhare aur Rajat ke baare mein. To really very sorry. Main ab kisi se kuch nahi bolunga tumhare baare mein. Meri galti hai sorry. I'm really very sorry. Hi. He didn't say like thank you for apologizing. No, he didn't deserve anything. वो मैंने कहा तुम्हारा वॉइस बोल सुना था और मुझे उसी टाइम बोलना था बट अफगानिस्तान का तो आज के बाद हो गया बट मगलू का मगल भी हुआ सो या इट्स मगल्स आह एक्चुअली मुझे कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा सॉरी 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 पांडू तुझे इशिता को कुछ बोलना था ना सॉरी यार एक्चुअली वो जो तुम दोनों की वो वाली बात थी ना वो मैंने स्टार्ट करी थी हाँ बताया भी विशांत ने सॉरी यार एक्चुअली वो ना तुम्हारा नंबर मांग रहा था तुम में इंटरेस्टेड था इसलिए मेरे को बोलना पड़ा और ऐसे किसी लड़की के बारे में बोलना नहीं चाहिए इसलिए आए एप्पलोजाइज इट्स ओके पर बोलना पड़ा मतलब क्यों बोलन Oh, that cat's been out of the bag for three episodes. Did you not learn it, right? Is it going or not? Sorry. I don't know. 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 I don't know.
Oh, he's wearing the nice shirt as well. He just dresses nice in general. Aww. Those things are expensive. Those stupid ones are ridiculous. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. It's so small. Man. Man. I would have gone for an Expelliarmus myself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh god. Uh oh. But a life now. Chemistry says that it's a good इसमें कुछ अनबैलेंस इक्वेशन अपने आप बैलेंस हो जाती हैं इररिवर्सिबल रिएक्शंस अपने आप रिवर्सिबल बन जाती हैं और वॉल्यूम ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स अपने आप प्रेशर गिरा देती हैं बस सिस्टम ओपन रखना चाहिए कैटलिस्ट की प्रेजेंस होनी चाहिए और बॉन्ड स्ट्रांग होना चाहिए और बच्चों ये इस कहानी चैप्टर था तो मिलते हैं वैकेशन के बाद प्रैक्टिस करते रहना टेस्ट लूंगा That worked out really conveniently. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was really sweet. Like this whole time we've had the teacher be the narrator and then finally we get to see him step in and mm -hmm. do his thing where he's being the mentor and the friend. He's actually a really sweet guy. Yeah. Cause the whole time throughout the series, I was kind of like, he's, he's, a he's a jerk, a yeah. dick, yeah. you know? And then it's like, no, actually like he gets them and he's a really, he's a really nice guy. He's super sweet. There was one really important lesson here that was kind of brushed past. It was in the episode, which is sometimes you have to just state your side of things and just let it be. Yeah. And just let it naturally progress and be organic. Because when you try to force something, it all, it just kind of makes it worse. When you when you're trying to control it and you know, <laughs> yeah, make it go that way, it just it's not gonna listen to you. It's like trying to control a puppy. It's just it it's got a life of its own. Yeah. You know? Well, not only that, but also he accepted it. You know, because mm -hmm. the whole time he was trying to shift the blame to, to someone else, to external circumstances, to all these other people who said yeah. those things. And finally, when he was like, I get where you're coming from, and yeah, you should blame me. Yeah. And that changed yeah. everything. It's the moment yeah. you own it. Yeah. And own what it is. Knowing what he knows now, if he could go back in time after this incident happened, like, what could he have done? to resolve it sooner. He didn't bring his friend to tell her, you know, what he had said. They, they didn't talk face to face about it. Like, it, it escalated. So once it escalated, what could he have done to resolve it earlier? Like, I understand why you're angry. Yeah. I, just, I just want you to know, no, I didn't do this. It wasn't my fault. But like, I understand if you don't want to talk to him anymore over this incident, like, is that what he could have done? I think he could have done that. But also at that point, when something's so fresh, you need to let it breathe, mm -hmm. then go in for it. That's what I was thinking about. Like, they went on one date. But they but. went on one date and it's just like escalated and he's like trying to resolve this thing. I'm like, dang, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys like hugged. You did the LA hug and then it just this is what happened. She's like making all the moves. Well, because he's dense. Was, I know, but like, and, and that's sweet though. Like, I I like that about mm -hmm. him. But when you're interested in a guy like that, mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta up a little for you know be yeah. like, hey, dude, it's okay. Like, here, let me make the first move so you know what's okay. <laughs> Can yeah. you relate, Jabby? Uh, <laughs> look, and it, if I'm afraid and then a girl starts getting aggressive, it just makes me more afraid. Really? Yeah. She like, wasn't being aggressive. Yeah. She was being really She's like, Can it. you hug me? I want a hug now. No, I'm just joking. She's like, Give me a hug or I will kill you. <laughs> but does it, okay, if you, if you said that when a girl starts getting a little more aggressive, you get a little bit um, more intimidated. Yeah. But. At the end of the day, are you like excited about that? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I might be doing something wrong. No, <laughs> no, but like, but I'm a weird guy. Most guys are happy when a girl will do that. But like, I'm the type of dude who's like, but I just need you. Does that push you away though? It do you does. Think? For really? me though, that's me. Like, if a girl just 
relaxes and just like let's let's let, let's it be known like it's open for you know you, I will receive you when you're ready. Then I'm like okay cool I'll come inside now. But like I don't mean that in a sexual way. I just I just mean that like in a house kind of way, like inviting me into her emotional home. So. Do you feel like it's because you, you lose like control wrong. or something? Or like I, I think it's not, a control you know I mean? thing. I think it's a it's an ego thing of just like you like you, to feel like the man. I like yeah, to feel okay. like yeah. I mean sure, yes. This is not therapy. Well, the Why are we doing you, this? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. What? No, because I feel like, but okay, if you're in that situation, right? Yeah. You can still become the man and take over after that because you get those cute. Those are your cues. Yeah. What are you saying? Oh, they're not. They're not there. <laughs> you're getting those cues. That's your chance to step it up and be like, all right. I want that power back. Mm -hmm. Boom, let me step up my game. Yeah. That's your cue. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. your cue. You're right. You're yeah. Right. Absolutely. I just. I don't know. I have any, 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 no, anytime I've been in a situation like that where a girl was being aggressive, I just kind of, it, it didn't pan out. That's happened to me a few times. It just didn't pan out. It, the only time it's panned out is when I awkwardly was like, can I put my face on your face? And then she Did says, okay. Say no, I didn't say oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't wait. Every time you say that, I. I can see you doing that, no, so I'm like, would you do that? that? No. No. I think it could be this. You could just put your cheek yeah. on her cheek. No. Like, That's weird. I'm making it sound more, <laughs> I'm making it sound more awkward you, than you, it actually was. You put was. your face on people's faces mm. like, <laughs> you do that? No, I'm a lot sweeter than I'm making it sound. <laughs> Golly. But I did have an instance, going back to one of our earlier conversations, where I stepped in, I stepped forward. I talked about this already, but you guys are gonna yeah. do it again. I stepped forward. And the girl then stepped forward and was like, oh, and then started kissing me. Oh. And, and, and then, uh, like, the next day, and you know who I'm talking mm -hmm, about. I do. The next day, she's like, you know, I think you moved a little fast there because you kissed me really abruptly. But I'm like, bitch, I didn't kiss you. You kissed me. What the hell? <laughs> I, just, I just opened the door and you walked right inside. And you're getting mad at me for letting you come in my house so soon? That's why I was saying, like, you just never know. What she's doing, I think, is really balanced. It's not yeah. like she's just attacking him and tearing his clothes off. It's like she gave him a kiss on the cheek to say, hey, hey, I like you. Yeah. You know, that's not super, super aggressive. Yeah, I like I feel you like I'm more cool. like, I'm a little bit like that, though. I'm not like... Well, that's a like, good balance. Like, I'm a little balance. bit more like... Yeah, no, I've, I've had, I've experienced the extreme of someone being super aggressive, trying to like, you know, take it to the next stage. I'm like, I, you know, I just, I, I, I gotta go okay, home. Okay, so that's not what I was talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about like, I'm more like. Yeah, exactly. Like, and then, and they'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's it. like, yeah, and, and then I kind of go. No. No, but like I'm really dense. I, I, at least I used to be. Like I literally, ha a girl literally put my hand on her boob, and I no! just, and I was just like, I don't know what this what means. You, but it's like it's totally opposite. She, 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 a guy, a guy can't just be like, here, <laughs> doors open, baby. Like you, you can't, you can't just do that. No, thank a girl, you. A girl's allowed to do that though, for some reason. Because guys kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, they but wanna like, touch but it. but that's happened to me twice. I, that happened to me twice in high school, and both times I was just. Like hey, I don't know what to do. I like I had no game. I literally had no game. But did you enjoy it? No, I was nervous. Like I wanted to enjoy. Like I look back and I'm like, I wish I enjoyed it, but I didn't. Like I was just nervous. It was damn. Like you're aggressive. I'm glad it all wrapped up the way it did. Like everybody came around to yeah. and had a full arc in ter yeah. in terms of their understanding of the situation. Literally everyone in the show, I, except for, I guess the main girl? Ishita? Ishita. 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 Like she didn't really have much of an arc in the show. She just was like, she forgave him. I guess that's an arc. I don't yeah. know, but she didn't really actively pursue anything. Yeah. That's no. what I'm trying to say. Things but, just happened to her. Right, but everybody else in the show was active. All the other main characters, rather, were active, and I like that they ultimately had an arc in the show, and they came to a un new understanding of mm -hmm. things. Oh, except when she kissed him, though. She was active then. She's always done that, though. She's like, can you hug me? <laughs> hug me. Put your arm around me. Okay. Give me an LA hug. <laughs> LA hug. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had that happen. It's like the words, like, when you go to hug someone, and they go... I hate that. I'm like... God, that's like a weak handshake. Sometimes you have to learn how to hug. I, I was told by one of my friends that I was a bad hugger, and uh, I took that to so, heart. So you just <laughs> squeezed it. <laughs> I took it to heart, okay? I had a complex about it. Let me see your hug. Is it good? It's good now. It's Is it better. good? I like it. <laughs>
I, I didn't see the hook. Can you guys do that? <laughs> Everyone had a, had a nice little arc in the show. I think it did a good job of representing that feeling. Like it's melodramatic, but that's how it is when you're in high school. Oh, like you have so this kind dramatic. of heightened awareness of everything. Like you're overanalyzing everything. Your feelings are are new, so they're huge. It's like it takes yeah. you a while to learn. Like oh, none of that really matters. Yeah, like, exactly. It's not a big deal. If any of you guys are in high school or you know young and going through fresh love. Trust me, none of it matters. <laughs> like, when you get older, you're gonna be like, damn. It'll, it'll blow over and you'll be like, wow, that meant a lot to me and it doesn't mean anything to me now. But you know, their their camaraderie was really well established because it's like you cared about this friendship mm -hmm. rekindling. Like you cared about their bond and them making up. I almost expected it to go the direction of, hey man, who needs girls when we have friends? It was almost more heartfelt to me that their friendship was rekindled mm -hmm. or that they got to get back together as friends rather than like, oh hey, now you can be my girlfriend or whatever. It's like, no, bros before hoes. <laughs> this is season one. So obviously you can explore more in season two. My hope is that they make Ishita, is that her name? Ishita, yeah. I hope they make her a more active character in season two because right now, like you said, it was just things were just kind of happening to her uh -huh. and it almost felt like she was more of a plot device Device, yeah. rather than an active person. And I want to see her do more in season two, if that's possible. I want to know, like, what was she doing when she was just hiding? Like, she was just, like, in a yeah, cave? Yeah, no, kind of... well, like, it shows when she's in the bed and she's looking at the text messages and stuff, and she's, like, reading yeah. because she misses her mom. She is going crazy. She doesn't want to talk to anybody because, go back to high school, right? Yeah. Something like that. that. That's your life. You don't, you're not, you're not working, really. You're not doing this, though. That's your life. Everybody's opinion and everything gets to you and you're just like, oh my god, how, uh. yeah. and you don't want to talk to anybody. Right. And nobody's talking to you or they start judging you. I know a way that she could have been active. She should have started up the banana stand. What's it called? <laughs> the, you know, in Arrested Development is oh, called yeah, the, banana, the frozen banana. The frozen banana stand. Yeah. Like she should have been the, she should have actively been like, okay, I'm going to put my efforts here. Even though I'm just in high school, I'm going to find a way to bring this back. Season two. <laughs> Season Whoa. two, she opens up a banana stand. Frozen banana stand. She's like, oh, Forget school, forget commerce or whatever. Mm. I'm gonna open up a, oh, like, actually that goes. Who needs school? Exactly. <laughs> Sell food. And he brings her back with expelli armpits. <laughs> expelli armpits, I like that, that's good. Because <laughs> they set up this whole thing in that date with the mom and the banana stand. I know it's not a banana stand. That didn't come back around, because they spent a lot of time on it. And I was like, is this gonna, mean anything at some point. Maybe in season two it'll come back. They were just showing her yeah. opening up. That's that's yeah. Oh, so that's that's the only purpose that's of it. okay. Yeah, yeah. Nothing deeper. This whole time Something that was really meaningful her. to her. I guess that's fair. <laughs> No, no, that is Well, it was fair. huge. It her, it, her mother passed away. Right. I thought it was just going to be more than a device. I thought it was going to, like, actually, like, he might use that somehow. Like He, he she, might, though. He she, might later on. She, she mentioned Harry Potter and, he and you know, mm -hmm. Prisoner of Azkaban and all that stuff. That's like, And he made he managed to bring it back. And I thought, well, maybe he can bring those other things back somehow. Like, maybe there was a particular food mm -hmm. from that stand that she liked and he, like, tracks but... it. But... He didn't get to experience that, so I almost feel like that's something he wouldn't touch. Before we like wrap this up, I want to comment on the acting in the show. I thought the acting was pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, everybody was very real, especially the main characters, the two the two dudes and and um, Ishita. I really like what they brought to it. You know, the way she expressed her pain, the way she expressed her anger, mm -hmm. it felt like that's pretty much how that would look in real life. If someone was coming at you with those feelings, I feel like that's how they'd handle it. I think that even her trying to contain it. Felt mm -hmm. real, like I, you know, you've been around those people who are just trying to like keep it together and yeah, yeah, keep it cool. Like, don't show, don't show. I don't have feelings. I thought she did a good job with that. I thought it was well cast as well in the sense that like they were all really young, or at yeah. least they all felt really they all young. Look, they yeah. felt genuinely young, not like, hey, let's throw a twenty-five year old in there and get them to pretend to be sixteen. No, they felt very close to that. So I feel like as a result, yeah. it's very real for the actors involved, like they can relate. It definitely felt real to me because I remember being in high school and everyone feeling like a giant next to me. Like, because I, I, it took me time to get my height, right? So, like, these guys are all huge compared to the main characters where we're like, you know, five <laughs> feet and, you know, 100 pounds soaking wet. To me, that, that helped it to feel even more real, was just their stature with right. relative to everybody else. The teacher did come around. Like you said, he was initially a jerk, and then we find out that he's actually got a lot of heart. He just cares a lot, and he's just, you know, doing he's it. He's a lot way. of wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, like a lot that. of wisdom to share. 
A little challenge. bit cheeky as well, I like it. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thank you to Timeliners for allowing us to react to this. This was a wonderful series. Really appreciated the opportunity to watch it and share the reaction with everybody. Looking forward to season two. Thanks so much. You guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out Kristen and Achar on the social media. Be sure to follow them on all of their social medias and like all of their photos three times. Because <laughs> you. you'll like it, then you unlike it, then you like it again. It just looks <laughs> like more activity going on. Uh, that's a, that's a, no, I'm just messing oh. around. 